1985 Wrestling All-Stars, Beckett, Authentic, Hulk Hogan, Mike Von Erich, PSA 8, Near Mid Mid, Kevin Von Erich, PSA 8, Near Mid Mid, Mike Von Erich, PSA 6, Kerry Von Erich, Jimmy Garvin, PSA 4, Mike Von Erich, Authentic, PSA, Ivan Pusky, PSA 7, with a crack case from the mill, Mill Mascars, PSA 2, The Road Warriors, PSA 5, crack case, broke my heart when that came in the mail like that, Superfly, Jimmy, Snooka, PSA Authentic, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, PSA Authentic. Junkyard Dog, JYD. Cool car. Jerry, the King Lawler. What a legend. Wahoo McDaniel, another legend. Cool car. Rick Martel. Rick Martel. Chris Adams, the gentleman, Chris Adams. What a story about him, eh? Brad Armstrong. Chris Adams. Brad Armstrong. King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy, he had a nice career with the five count. Really enjoyed watching him. Oh, here we go. The living legend, the eighth wonder of the world. Andre the Giant, PSA 2. Really cool card. Let's see what it says here. Andre the Giant is truly the eighth wonder of the world. Andre has been wrestling for 15 years, yet he's never been pinned. In his career, Andre has feuded with the biggest super heavyweights in the sport, men such as Blackjack Mulligan, Kamala, Ernie Ladd, Abula the Bit Butcher, and numerous others have met defeat at the hands of the Giant. Now the Giant is feuding with Big John Studd. These two have battled all over the world, but their feud is far from over. Expect to see these two battling it out for some time to come. Andre the Giant had his leg broken by Killer Khan in a match in Boston. And I remember when I was a kid watching Andre the Giant and the Big John Stud. They had that five thousand dollar match, and uh, Andre beat uh, Big John Stud, and they took the money and threw it all into the crowd. That was awesome. And then we have uh, Tommy Rich Hillfire, Terry Taylor, the Red Rooster. If you guys remember him, he had a really good run in the NWA, but then he came to the WWF and Bobby the Brain. He then said he could make a star out of anybody and named him the Rooster, and it killed his career, sadly, because he was definitely a star. Terry Taylor, David San Martino, which is Bruno San Martino's son. Interesting story. Billy Hayes, he's he was just def he was uh, recently in a scandal himself. The Tonga Kid. Uh, the Bushwhackers, formerly known as the Sheep Herders. Luke and Butch. Gino Hernandez. Gino Hernandez. Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, man, what a legend with the, with the uh, he used to do the, what was the, uh, oh, not the camel clutch. We had the sleeper hold. I forgot what he called a sleeper hole, but I I I love to put everybody in the neighborhood in the sleeper hole that uh this this guy here, the uh, Sergeant Slaughter did. He had a really nice sleeper hole. The missing link, this guy was an entertaining character. Big John Studd, the guy who Andre the Giant fought. And uh Andre uh Big John Studd, he just was no comparison to the giant. Oh, the fabulous free birds. Go home, free birds. Go home, free birds. You guys remember that? That was a good, yeah. They, was, they, was, they had some pop, to say the least. Paul Orndorff, he's what, you know, this guy, he was, he just, uh, they said he could have maybe took Hulk Hogan's place, uh, but he just, 
I don't know. It's weird how his career didn't really uh, to be more than what I thought it was going to be. Dusty Rose, legend, the American dream. Kamala, this guy, he was uh, he was not that good of a wrestler, but I don't know, as a kid, he just really fascinated me. When he would smack his belly and comes to the ring, I was like, oh, God, he looks so scary. But he wasn't much of a wrestler. The Iron Sheik. And you see, this, this, uh, this is a key card here, because you see Iron Sheik, he's holding the WWF title, which he was the champion at the time. And uh, that's who Hulk Hogan beat him to get his first title run was the Iron Sheik. Sheiky baby. And here goes uh, Sergeant Slaughter. King Kong Bundy. And then I'll just go ahead and get into these uh, 1990, uh, 1990 classic WWF cards. These are pretty cool, too. Uh, Hulk Hogan, number one. This is the first card of championship. So then this is 1990. The, these other cards was uh, 1985. So you'll see 1985 compared to 1990. So Sheik had the belt in 85, and then Hogan defeated him shortly after. Uh, then uh, Andre the Giant uh, looks like he's beating up on Jake the Snake Roberts. Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania. That was, I mean, that was, uh, they, they very had two, they very rarely, they never, I think that might have been one of the first ever baby face meets baby face matches because back in the 80s and 90s, it was all about the good guy versus the bad guy. So this was huge. This was, and the Ultimate Warrior, man, ooh, wow, he had a lot of energy, not much of a wrestler, turned out to be pretty wild of a guy. Well, I like this car a lot, Hulk Hogan uh, with the belt there from WrestleMania. I was a total Hulkamaniac, guys. Uh, say your prayers, train hard, take your vitamins. I mean, well, uh, Hulk Hogan came out, wow, because in 1990 or in 1985, I was, uh, what, nine years old. So I was all into Hulk Hogan when he came out. Like, I still remember every match. Uh, Miss Elizabeth, uh, her her card here, and she was, uh, wow, she was beautiful. Oh, this is my favorite character, wrestling favorite wrestling character of all time, Bobby the Brain Heenan. As a kid, I hated him. As an adult, I love him. I just think Bobby the Brain, he was just the best. And how he went out in WCW, uh, they said when he left uh, his final day at the uh, WCW, nobody gave him a handshake or said goodbye or anything. I almost shed a tear when I heard that interview. And just, I mean, he just did not get the respect he deserved. He was a genius. He put his whole heart and life into the business. And he didn't even get a thank you. But I thank you, uh, Bobby DeBrain, he did for all your entertainment as a kid. Really had me, really pushed my buttons as a kid, but that was your job. Hawk Rules. And this is here is you have, uh, oh, classic match. This was the... Hart Foundation, you got Bret Hart flying in the air. He got some real nice air there. And looks like he's coming down on the Honky Tonk Man, which the Honky Tonk Man was the longest intercontinental champion of all time. And I would thought I thought Honky Tonk was really entertaining, but of course I booed at him as a kid. Oh, then you have the Red Rooster. So now you see Red Rooster from 1985. Now this is his 1990 card. And uh, he got this guy. Look like that might be Iron Mike, Mike Sharp, which is the Canadian's best athlete ever. Iron Mike, it looks like. Uh, then uh, you got Brett the Hitman Hart. Ooh. Technical difficulty. You got Brett the Hitman Hart. And uh, looks like he's beating up some jobber. But if you see up here, it says event there. So that was from Saturday Night Main Event. And if you guys remember that, wow, that, that was the good old days. That If you was alive to see, if you see the Saturday Night Main Event live on TV, then you know what life's all about. Jesse the Body Ventura, Governor Ventura, if you will. Uh, so he, he, he had a big plans. We had a back injury, and then he became a commentator. Oh, that's a cool card here. Randy Macho Man Savage staring down Andre the Giant. Oh, I remember that match. I remember playing the video game. Vaguely remember uh, with them two was fighting. That was pretty fun. That was cool. Oh, man. Look at this. This is a good card. This is uh, the Rockers. Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Oh, do you guys remember the breakup when uh, Shawn Michaels uh, super kicked 
Marty Zanetti through the window at the barber shop. Wow. Man, and Sam Michaels went on to have a, a really good career. Uh, Pat, Pat Patterson's best friend, that's all I'm going to say. And uh, Marty Zanetti, he had a career too, but not the one you really want to talk about. Andre the, Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 2. He wasn't the best of health here. Uh, on YouTube, I got some of his early matches. Uh, if you look through my YouTube, I got some of his early 1970s matches. And they said, you know, when he was in Japan in the 70s, he, uh, they said it's actually Andre the Giant was drop drop kicking people, if you can believe that. Here goes Andre the Giant uh, telling the ref, hey, I'm number one. I'm the Giant. I'm undefeated. Nobody will beat me. Oh, wow. This is a, this is a classic card right here. This is a classic card. Of Hulk Hogan slamming onto the giant at WrestleMania three when that happened, I mean, I'm, I mean, I just lost my top when uh, WrestleMania three when I watched that. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe Hulk Hogan just slammed the giant. He beat the giant. I mean, I was just so elated. I just, I just couldn't believe what I just saw. I couldn't believe what I just saw when Hulk Hogan sl scoop slam. The Giant. Some say it was more like a hip toss, but I'm not going to hear that because I'm a Hulkamania brother. So let's read the back of this one. The Hawkster did the impossible at WrestleMania 3 when he body slammed the 500-pound Giant. No athlete has ever slammed the Giant since or before. Never. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so number 1990 Classics. And the other one is 1989 classic. Some of them's 1990. Most of them's most of them's 1990. I think that set is from 1990. So yeah, that's this is my my favorite uh, wrestling sets would be the uh, I like the 1990 set. I like the 1985 wrestling all stars. And I also I I dig out my 83 and 82 wrestling all stars. And I have way more a lot more wrestling cards. If there's any more interest, just leave a comment and say that you would like to see some more wrestling cards, and I'll post them. Thanks, guys.